we're going to hit 100 episodes at the end of season six. And we've also, yeah, it's amazing. And we've decided that 100 episodes is also a good place to stop. Yes. This isn't just a show. This is a family. You guys are all a part of it. I love each and every single one of you, and I, I want to come and hug every single one of you when this is over. I wish they would have put like some kind of like, like possessed unicorn. Oh, it says you can pee next to me. Uh, it's a, it's a, <laughs> yeah, it's a thank you. <laughs> Kind of way. Thank you very much. I, not it's uh, it's raising awareness for transgender <laughs> equality. Who is that? Those aren't Ghost Riders. Who is that? Those aren't Ghost Riders. Damn it! Oh. I knew I was gonna be the human friend, but I became the beast. So, goals. My life is is completed. Hey guys, what's up? This is Cody Christian, and I just want to promote uh, healthy teeth, brush day and night, you know? I love my dentist. I wrote the show, you guys have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it's about a teenager who's a werewolf, who becomes a sexy Teen alpha wolf. man. <laughs> I would love to save the world. If, I, if, if, if the world started ending right now, I'd be like, all right, everybody, follow me! <laughs> I don't know where we would go, but I would lead you to safety. I promise you that. And if not, we would have fun dying. Dylan? Oh, we're all doing it. Yeah, we're doing um. it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now I'm ready. Yeah, I'm gonna kill Isaac. I can't stand a man in that scarf. Would we say that's a consensus? I think Isaac's a sweetheart. You marry him, he takes care of you. Yeah. Bubble baths and shit. Look, he's got, he's got good taste, he wears good scarves. It is what it is. Okay, okay. One thing we do not have in common is Lydia's love for high heels. <laughs> well, then why do you wear them constantly? Because that's Lydia's job. No, like college. even right now. We're not getting into this. Please stop. <laughs> this is an ongoing feud Holland and I have had over the last seven years. Oh. I also love music, but I have absolutely no musical talent, so I'm gonna take the MVP for music listener, because I can listen real good. Boyd Styles is the character that Dylan O'Brien plays, only the dark version of him. And he, my God, that dude should have won an Academy Award. Every, every award imaginable for that role. He uh, really inspired me to become a better actor and just to work as hard as I can. So definitely Boyd Styles is the man, and he's hot, right? I would, I would honestly like to be in season three, just because like, I love Dylan so much, and I would love to like be in the same environment of Boyd Styles. Like I would never interact with him. I just want to look at him from a distance. Cause I'd be scared shitless. But yeah, that would be cool. I would do that. Scott is single, everybody. So single, so single, is Tyler Posey. single and ready to mingle. You know what I'm saying? Who would you share a toothbrush with if you had to? God. Well, since we're already brothers. <laughs> Sprayberry. Kylan. Kylan for sure. Oh, Max. Max Carver. I'd have to say Max, because I know he brushes his teeth a lot. Can Liam be the alpha of Beacon Hills? No, he can't! There is only one alpha! I was hoping that, that Jeff was going to write something for Argent where I could forget a lot of the shit that has already happened to him. <laughs> when it's about to turn yellow to take a left, if you drive in Los Angeles, you take that left. Not a red light yet. <laughs> Hungry like the world. <laughs> Can I, can I start? Who with, wants to start? Let me start with this one. Is that okay? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just, I'll go real quick. Uh, I shared. <laughs> oh, did, did he say? Cody was Hold on. I'm gonna, I know the answer. I know the answer. Look who walks in late and just grabs the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, season six is going to be fantastic. We have so many new characters and so many new parents. And I want to do right by my friends and my family. Oh. Um. <laughs> he called me his family.
<laughs> I'm gonna stay right here for okay. the rest of the thing. You're one of the bravest dudes I know, man. Thank you, man. I just I'm not joking about that, dude. Kylan is one of the best dudes you will ever meet in your entire life. That guy is more of a protector of his family than Scott McCall is at Beacon Hills. I'm telling you, this guy is the hardest working dude you've ever met. So I love you, Kylan. You are just as brave, if not braver, than Mason. I love you, bro. Who would you start a dance party with? Oh, dude, Dylan O'Brien. I think I need the duo. I need the, I need the, the Posey, the Posey O'Brien duo for sure. Tyler for sure. I don't like it when uh, a commercial tries to pretend to like be like this is found footage. Like you know when like those Free Breeze commercials where they be like we just found these people on the street. <laughs> and it's never. You can always tell that it's not the thing. It's not real. I don't like those commercials <laughs> at all. Does anybody believe that that's just random people walking in the street? <laughs> so why are they doing it? As you can see, uh, Mason turns into a puppy, season six. I honestly hate this filter. <laughs> I hate it so much, but I'm just doing it for When I see people like taking selfies, like, That's I, yeah, I think that, I think we were just saying this when they take selfies, but I, I, I don't want to say it because I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there do that. Might be, might be the round, wrong but, crowd to say that in front of me. Yeah, like <laughs> seeing someone taking a selfie is just like, I cringe a little bit. So. I'm like a dread doctor, like, slice open like pulls my heart out and like Liam just watches it and I'm just thumping and then like they splat it on the ground. Just, he mic drops your heart. Just die. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. That's it. That's it. That's that's Mason's death. That's, uh, I want my character to be like chasing like after to save someone and he's going to like he's like home base sliding into an elevator and the door shuts on his head and just pushes <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All I ever have wanted to do in my life is to just is to uh, is to touch people. Not. <laughs> you know what? On second thought, is to touch people thought. deeply. Wait, that's not right either. I want to be inside of you guys. Wait, that's. <laughs> I'm off track. Uh, all all I've ever wanted to do is inspire people positively, and inspire the world, and make a difference in people's lives. And the amount of. Um, of people from all from the years and thousands of fans that we have met throughout the years, different parts of the world, everybody, there is always somebody that comes up to one of us and says how much we've affected their lives and changed their lives for the better and saved their lives. And whether it's one person in a group of a thousand people or a group of a thousand people, it, it every single little person counts. And and I I've I, I don't know I've always wanted just to just to change people's lives and I. I really feel like this show has that power. I, I, I know countless of people that, that, that this show has brought together and has, I've learned so much about myself and I have some of the best friends that I will have my entire, me and Dylan, this, this guy too, but, but Dylan O'Brien and I have, uh, have this bond that I can't even go into words to, to try to explain or express and I just, I hope to God that everybody would find that and, and uh, this show is just, not only has it saved other people's lives, but it saved mine too. I am a red-headed, green-eyed, left-handed, O-negative. <laughs> so you win the MVP Replicate for Recessive Jinx. That. Fantastic. You wanna go out sometime? Uh, yes. Yeah, definitely. Hit me up anytime. Right. Sweet, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> uh, nothing. Going out with you. Hell yeah. Okay. Ooh, you're hosting it's the going Fandom. down. All right, I'm hosting the Phantom Awards. Come, I'll take you out. Okay, it's a deal. Pinky promise. It's gonna happen. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I think Tyler Posey just asked me you're on the date. Right okay. <laughs> I'm really good at kissing. $20. $20? So if you're driving and it starts to rain and there's just a little bit of rain and if the wipers are going too fast for the amount of rain that is on the car, do you know it's like just sprinkle and it's like I'm like, dude, turn that down. It's not necessary. It's too fast. I respect that. And you're wasting it. And the fandom of the year goes to Teen Wolves! Thank you. You guys drive our show. You make it worthwhile. We just love you guys. And so this means the world to us. We feel like we've all grown up with you, and hopefully you feel the same. And to everybody's next chapter, thank you so much for 
supporting us.